Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will discuss about the TDS table function along with the AMDP framework. Let's get started. How to create the CDS table function? Simple. How we are creating the CDS view, normal CDS view or CDS view entity? Same way we have to create the CDS table function. Just the template will be a little bit different. You can see the template over here. We have to give some label. And you have to write instead of define view or define view entity, you have to write define table function. And you have to give the CDS view and CDS entity name of the CDS table function. This is called CDS entity. So CDS entity name of the CDS table function. As soon as we give this name, we have to define some parameter if it is required importing parameter or input parameter which we want to give that we can define. And at last, we no need to write here select statement. That's a very important thing. In the syntax, just we have to write what all of the data you want to get from this particular CDS table function. Those all the elements you have to write in the return list. This is the return. I want to get, suppose I have to hit multiple three, four table and I have to get this, this elements. So all these elements you have to mention over here one by one in the return list. And at last, we have to write implement by method. We have to give some class name and method. We will talk about this class name and method in a while. So basically, I want to tell whenever you create the CDS table function, there is a two part. This is first part which I have shown you. This is called CDS entity of the CDS table function. The second part, part also there. The second part is an AMDP function implementation. Whatever we have defined this here, class name and class method, you can see class name and class method. This is called CDS AMDP function, sorry, AMDP function implementation. What it is, this is AMDP function. We will implement this AMDP function in one class method. I will talk detail, I will talk in detail about the AMDP function in a while. Before going that, we will see the basic things about the CDS table function. First important thing, you can create the CDS table function only for which databases who supports the AMDP. Currently, only SAP HANA supports the AMDP ABAP, ABAP managed database processors. Only HANA supports, no other database. If in future, some other database also supports the MDPs. There also we can create the ABAP CDS function. That's the first important thing. Second thing, whenever you create the CDS table function, there is, as I told you, there is two part. One is the CDS table entity, CDS entity. And second is the, this particular implementation, AMDP function implementation. So first you have to activate the CDS uh, entity of this CDS table function, then you have to create the this method or function of this for this particular CDS table function or AMDP function we can call. Once and same way with the trans transportation as well. Once we have created, we have to move obviously in other another system. So first you have to move the TR which be, which is having the this particular CDS table entity CDS entity and Second, after that we have to we have to move that AMDP function implementation, this class and method we have to move in the second tier. So we have to move first this part and then we have to move second as a second part the implementation of this class and method. That's a very important thing. And one more basic things where we can use this particular CDS table functions, CDS entity which we have created, you can use in the select statement to get the data from this all the data if I want to get directly in. Uh, which you have mentioned in the return in the select statement I can use apart from the select statement if I am using this particular uh, CDS view entity in another CDS view where also there also I can call some of the fields from this view on view also we can create apart from that for declaring the table and work area data type declaration also we can use this particular CDS table functions CDS entity that's a three important thing. MDP, we will discuss about the MDP. Before that, we will jump into the system and we will create one basic CDS table function. For creating the CDS table function, you have to right click on your package or where your core data service is already there. You can right click over there as well. And after the right click, 
you have to create the new data definition as I told you CDS you also created in the data DDLS source only uh, let us close it out let me right click over here and new other ABAP repository object DDLS you can search or data definition if you required data definition and you have to create new data definition and you have to give your CDS table function name so G DDLS underscore uh, my underscore first CDS table function like that you can give any name let me give same name in the description and you have to click on next button it will ask for the TR you can give any TR and you have to click on next button or you can keep new TR as well and either you can give the template over here you have to select the defined table function with parameter one template is there and if you don't want to give the template there is one another option to give is the template in the our DDL source code itself I'll show you that today either I can select this template then template will come automatically in here in this case the template didn't come you just have to click, click control space all the template you can see here as well you have to select your appropriate template in my case the define table function with parameter so there is only one template for is open one template for the define table mercedes table function so you can click on that template you will get all the details of the template as i told you for defining the table function we have the define table function we have to give the table the name as you can see it took by default the same name whatever we have given in the ddl source name it's recommend sap recommend us to give the same name whatever we are giving in the whatever the name of the ddl source code name that's very important thing as of now i don't want any parameter i can comment it out and next important thing it's a very important thing whenever you create the return statement suppose i want to get the sum of the data from the sales order table as we usually do so i will use i will get as of now sales order number and you can give in the element type you can use any elementary data type or data data element which is available in abap data dictionary so vbln is available all already so i can use and you can see the first element of this particular element list this is particularly we call element list is the client so here is the two things by default whenever you create the cds table function it's a client dependent it's a very important thing you have to remember and if you if you will not give this client field as a your first field you will get the error so you can see as of now as soon as i remove that one since it is a client dependent CDS table function, you have to specify the client over here. So I let me do what error I am getting. Exactly, I didn't read. So marked as a client specific. So by default, as I told you, it is a client dependent. So we have to give the client field is a my first field. You can change the field name. That's not uh, not matter. But you have to give the first field which should be type of ABAP client. So SAP at the CDS entity, it will automatically understand this particular uh, client, but this first field is a client field. For client independent table functions, we no need to give first field as a client field. How it will impact, we will see in my upcoming video. I have, I have, I will create the separate video how when we consume the CDS table function in the select statement, how this client will behave. So as of now, we have to make sure whenever we create the CDS table function by default is a it is a client dependent and we have to mandatorily give first element as a client type this first element type should be client and we will get the data from this particular CDS then it will this client will be not displayed I will show you those things as well before going to that so here we have to give the implemented by method so this is as I told you this is the amdp function which we have to create where we will write our logic here we didn't write any select query to get the data so where we will get the data in this particular class particular method we will get the data we can write our logic 
there to get the data we can join multiple table we can write if else we can do the loop lot of things we can do over here in the particular this class and method in the amdp class and method that as of now let me give some class name uh, let me give jetcl so jetcl underscore uh, my first table function like that i can give so it will be useful method name i can give get header get so header since i'm getting i will get as of now from one table only the data in upcoming video we will make it complex and where really we have to use cds table function i will show you that that also let me activate this one as i told you whenever you create the cds table function and the that time there is two part this is the first part which we have created is a cds entity and second part where we have to create this class and method and is a amdp function and there we have to activate that particular part so before going to that first we have to activate even this particular class and method is not available in the system if i will try to search let me control c control shift a if i try to search this particular class it will tell there is no result because this particular class and method is not available in the system still if i try, if i will try to let me do first shift f1 if i try to activate this table function it will activate control f3 i think it's activating so it got activated okay so this is how we have to create the simple cds table function now we will talk about first theory part of the amdp table function so before so for understanding the cds table function to understand the amdp it's a very important thing so first we will discuss the theory part then we will come again here and we will create the basic amdp table function and we will get the data and we will see the result first what is amdp amdp is a framework the very important thing amdp is a framework to manage the access to access the or we can say to call or create the database processes and the database functions if i tell what is the full form of the amdp abap managed database processor but it will not only manage the processor as well it will manage the database function as well so it's a framework before going to further we should know what is the date this database processors and the database function as you know our if our database is a hana database then the database have the different language we call usually that is a native language of the database and we use abap as a open sql language as of now in abap we have abap open sql language and the database is having if your database is hana then database language is a sql script in the sql script they will create the database processors and database functions but what this amdp framework do it will help us to create the database processors and the database functions from abap itself not only we can create we can consume also in our day to day programming so how to do that before going to further we should understand what is this database processors and database function so these are the container of logic container we can say like we are having function modules in sap abap we use or we can say class methods in the sap abap we usually write the lot of codes inside that same way database also having this logic container these these are the two types of the container one is the stored processor or sometime we call the database processors and second is the function or we can call user defined function as well as well and you will the sort form that udf also we call whenever we get the error when we write in the this amdp codes then they will insert called udf user defined function so what is the difference between them it's very important to understand the difference between them because it will help us to understand the difference between amdp functions and amdp processors 
the first difference what we can say stored processors will have importing exporting and changing per parameter but they will never have the returning parameter but in in the the functions or user defined functions they will have the always returning parameter but they don't have exporting and changing parameter but they have they can have the importing parameter that's a very important thing second thing we can directly call this particular stored processor in directly like the class method call in the ABAP program or in the SQL script also when they call the right they can use call and they directly call this particular method but the functions this this functions will be used as a how we use in the select statement the any table they can they will be used as a table I can say it's not correct term but use as a directly we can use in the select statement at the read position read position means where we write our table we can directly select some of the data from this functions because it will always return one parameter only it can be scalar or tabular form we can get the data from this particular particular function and we can use normally in the select statement so that's a very important thing when we talk about the functions so what it is see it can have multiple input parameter and return exactly one parameter this is the basic difference between the store processor data press processor and function we can say store processor processors and functions so we have to understand this this is very important thing to understand before going to the amdp functions and app mdp processors this we talked about sql script this is native language of our database now we will talk about little bit our ABAP side so as I told you AMDP is a framework it will manage the processors and functions from the ABAP side itself those processors called AMDP processors and those functions called AMDP function which is managed by AMDP framework so these are the two things SAP ABAP AMDP framework what it will manage one is the AMDP processors second is the AMDP, process, AMDP functions so where we will write this code of the AMDP processors and AMDP functions we have to create one AMDP class and inside the AMDP class how to create I will explain inside the AMDP class we have the one of the important method that is called the AMDP method so normal method and end method this is the implementation of the method we will just write method get so data and end method we will do we will not define anything but how to find any method is amdp method or amdp functions we can read this particular thing this method by database processors means it is amdp processor if it is this method by database function means it is amdp functions for which database you are creating this particular uh, method i am creating for hana database you have to write hdb currently it is this amdp amdps are supported only by the HANA database in future some other database will support then we can change this for another database name we can give and language is SQL script language for other database if there is some other language is there we have to give that language and options means means what we can do inside this particular AMDP method we only read the data from the database or we are changing also in the processors only we can read the data from the database no sorry in the functions we can only read the data from the database so in the processor we can change also the data and uh, processors we can change the data in the database as well so if you are creating the functions you mandatorily you have to give options read only and what all are the database table you are using here or database functions you are using here you have to define using and you have to give all the detail there so these are the basic things when uh, how to manage uh, how amdp framework manages these things the one more important thing inside this method whatever we write the code we will not use our ABAP language here we will use SQL script for HANA database language if some other database if they supports the AMDP their own language we will use as of now we are talking about the HANA database so we have to write SQL script language but uh, there is another language also supported in this particular when we write for the 
ana database it is l language but it is for only for sap internal use we can't write in the n language but sap they write their mdp processes and function in l, l language as well but for us they have given only uh, sql script only okay so these are as i told you these are the two keyword one is the uh, for the mdp processors to create we have to write by database processor and for the function we have to create after the method implement in, in the method implementation i'm talking about by database function we have to write other things are same again if i talk about the mdp functions there are two types of functions one is the scalar function and another is a table functions so scalar function it can be called like normal call but in the table functions which we can use in only in the select statement this we will talk further when we discuss amdp in detail but because as of now i only focus on the amdp because we are talking about cds table function i want to focus on amdp table functions not on the scalar functions we will talk about the scalar function in upcoming videos where, where we will discuss amdp in the detail the general point about the amdp because we have to use in the cds table functions in the our amdp method only so for that we have to talk about the general points what all are the general points are there for the amdp this is applicable for the all kind of amdps amdp processors and functions first thing amdp only support database processors and functions from as of now srp hana in future it can support other database as well it is opt like that it is designed like that it can support other databases as well. but as of now it is supporting hana but how to check this particular feature amdp features are available for, we can use in abap or not we have to use this class cl abap database features and we have one method there which will return one value call amdp method it will return us if it is supported it will return us x otherwise it will be blank we have to call this class method and we have to check the amdp is supported for this particular data for particular database or not where we are writing the code in abap so that's a very important thing because we are writing table function cds table function there we are using one amdp functions there also we have to check if we are consuming that cds table function in our abap before consuming we have to check this is available or not one important thing amdp methods we can write only in the adt abap development tool in eclipse only we can't write those normal in sap gui we, we will be not able to write this amdps we can see the class and methods there but we can't change there that's a very important thing and last but most important thing mdp framework uses the native sql interface so as i told you when we write day to day our normal sql statement then in middle where we have the database interface database layer uh, sorry we, uh, application layer it the open sql is converted to the native sql and then it will send to the database but apart from that we have something directly connection with the database from the presentation server without going conversion from open sql to native sql that is called native sql interface directly we can write the native sql code there is itself so it uses the amdp uses the directly framework of native sql it will not go in that much detail to converting open to net direct direct connection is there so it is the faster because it will run directly on the database that's a very important thing these are the general points of the amdp which is which is applicable for all the databases uh sorry which is all kind of amdps second thing so it's a most important and the if you go for the interview and it, it the interview is for the abapon hana they will definitely ask when to use amdp what is the thing we have to use amdp but what sap recommend us until and unless something can be achievable by the our normal sql statement open sql statement which we write the day to day select statement or the cds we should not write for those things amdp unnecessary the first important thing and second thing when to use amdp then if we have some database specific function which is already available those functions and processors are available in the database and provided by sap 
and th those functions are already available in the database so we can directly use those functions in the amdp amdp class because those are the ana specific sql those written in sql script script for the hana database in the sql script language in the natively itself but still we can consume those functions and processor directly in the our abap as well using the amdp if it is required no need to write again those functions and processors is if it is already available in the hana database no need to write rewrite again we directly consume those using the amdp this is the one use of the amdp how how we can use amdp processors and functions in our abap when to use the amdp and functions and processors in abap second thing sometime uh, we have the lower large number of the processes and analysis what we have to do we have to go to database then again we have to get the data then do the processing then again go to the database and then again come to the uh, application server then again do the processing we have the multiple iteration between the database and application server layer where we are getting the lot of data and we are not able to do in single hit or to single or double hit those kind of things we have we have to go multiple time to the database so those kind of things we directly write in the amdp in the native sql itself because we have the uh, flexibility over there to write those kind of things and we can call in one go itself we can do those all the things at the database itself so that is the second approach first approach because those things we can't do using the abap sql because if we do we try to do using abap sql and cds also we have to hit still we have to hit the multiple time the database then better to go with the mdp that is the second thing so when these are the most of the two things if first thing if you have to use hana specific thing which is available already in the hana database then we have to use mdp and second thing if we have if we have to go multiple integration between the uh, multiple uh, time we have to hit the database irrespective we have using the advanced features of open sql irrespective of that we have to go again database and come back again lot of multiple time then we have to use amd that is the second thing next point so as i told you how to create this amdp processors and functions so for creating the amdp processors and function we have to create amdp class and amdp method how to make normal class is a amdp class simple we have to use one interface called if amdp marker underscore hdp this is the interface we have to use to convert any classes into the amdp class as soon as you use this in interface then as if we this class will be you can be used we can create the amdp processors and function in this particular class not only that if you are in future if it is amdps are supported for other database so the interface name will be if amdp marker underscore that database currently hdb means hana database if some other database it is supported that database name will come amdp class can contain the normal method also apart from our uh, uh, amdp methods and function it can contain the normal method for day to day use which we create in abap that's the second important thing and amdp fun methods so there is a two kind of amdp methods one is the amdp processors and second is the amdp functions as i already told you which defined by database processor that is the amdp processors and amdp function is the by database function this is defined using the by database function so what is the difference between processors and functions that i already told you at the database level same difference I'll apply over here as well in the processors and functions the implementation of amdp saved to the abap database schema so whenever we implement any amdp processors and function so in the database level in sql script if we have database level in hana database there are different different schemas are there for for each abap system there will be one schema already created in the database inside that schema it will save all the data of ours so what is the that schema if you want to find out and if you want to see your uh, your processor and functions how it got created in the database you if you want if you want to get that schema name you can use in abap this db db schema underscore current function module is there it will return us what is the 
schema your schema name i will show you this function uh, and i will get in my system what is the schema it is used and used to save this mdp processes and function this is very important function sometime what we we need to see to realize that how the functions and processes are created database level when we, we when we create those function and processor using the mdp from framework that's very important amdp function implementation as i told you amdp function implementation and the amdp processor implementation there are two things but amdp function implementation is further divided into two part amdp table functions amdp scalar functions and but our focus area in this video is the amdp table functions for the cds table functions which we, because we are discussing the cds table function that is the reason our focus area is now amdp table functions which is created for the cds table functions we will discuss other things as well but when we discuss amdp processor along that along with that we will discuss this amdp table functions as well other amdp functions table function and scalar function as well so amdp table functions so till now what we did we have created the cds entity for the cds table function but we didn't create any amdp function implementation for that so for creating the amdp function implementation what we have to do we have to create the amdp class so there is a few important things I just want to explain syntax wise to make any class is a amdp class we have to give the interface called if amdp marker stp so we have to give this mark interface and we have to declare a static method along with that we have to use four table function and we have to give this table function name over here so it will create the definition of this this table function which we are using in this particular cds table function so what we are doing we are declaring the method for table function and we are giving the table function name now you will tell me if we give in the definition that for table function then where is the importing exporting and uh, returning parameter whatever it is using basically it use only returning and importing parameter only so where it is so for that the parameter whatever it is used in this particular method it will be coming from this particular cds table function we have defined this method for cds table function so what it will be done since we have activated this cds table function already and now we are defining the class class method for this particular cds table function so the parameter whatever the parameter we have used here that will be the importing parameter for this particular method and whatever we have defined in this particular return all the elements this will form a internal table with empty key and that will be returned from, from this particular table function so that's a very important thing so we no need to define explicitly import uh, returning and importing parameter it will be derived from this particular cds entity the second thing once we derived this one once we created the cds function uh, cds table function definition amdp function we have created we have to implement it since we have to tell this particular function which we are creating cds table function we have to use by, by database function so this is important keyword for processors we create by database processor but in this case we are creating the table function so we have to tell by database function for hana database we are using the sql script language and we it will be always read only that's a very important thing so we can't do any other operation we just do the read the database table yeah, we can use the select statement but we can't change the within the this method we can't change the data in the database so we have normal we have written wrote the one query over here and we are returning this it underscore vbln so whatever the data we got whatever the, we are returning here this internal tables structure and the element of this particular return table returns will be same type automatically if it is not same time it will give error 
नेक्स्ट थिंग सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस पर्टिकुलर सी डी एस टेबल फंक्शन वी हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड इन द क्लास वेर वी कैन यूज इट सिंपल थिंग वी कैन यूज एज ए डेटा सोर्स इन दवर एसक्यूल स्टेटमेंट वी कैन यूज इन द सी डी एस व्यू एज ए डेटा सोर्स इन डी डी आई सी बेस सी डी एस यू ऑल्सो व्यू एंटिटीज एंड डी डी आई सी बेस सी डी एस यू बॉथ द प्लेस वी table function is a data source because it's returning one table like a structure we can get the data from this particular table function not only this things we can call this from the another amdp methods also like this amdp method we can create another amdp method and from there also we can call this particular particular this get so data method inside the another method so that that can be done but we can't call directly this particular cds entity from our abap program using call function or call this particular cds entity we can't call directly it but we can call using uh, we can call inside the another amdp method we can call and last but most important thing since ultimately this methods will be creating the database uh functions in the database those can be used in the database natively by the sql script language in their own database functions they can call these functions in their database functions and processors but as a really don't recommend them to use these function which created by the abap framework or amdp framework to use directly in the sql script language that is not recommend now we will go to the system we will create we already created the cds view entity we try to create the cds we try to create the mdp class and mdp method till now we have created normal cds entity for the cds table function but we didn't created the mdp class and this mdp table function for this particular cds entity or cds table functions for creating the mdp class first we have to create normal class so you have to right click over there you have to click on new and you have to click on abap class and you have to give this class name and click on next button and finish it up it will create the normal class in the abap like how generally we create the normal class let me open it parallelly first thing what we have to do let me minimize it first thing what we have to do we have to convert this normal class to the amdp class we have to use interface which interface if underscore amdp underscore marker control space you will do you will get the value marker hdb interface we have to use what it will do this interface it will convert this class to the amdp class now we can use the amdp method is in this so always remember for uh, since you can see we are calling this method using this symbol which method we call static method so that is the reason we have to create one static method for calling a uh, static method which static method we will convert this static method to the amdp function so first we will declare the normal static method how we will declare the static method we have to use class data and uh, in class method sorry not class data class method so what is the class method name uh, class method name will be this one control c and for what purpose we are cre creating this one for table function so we are creating this class method for the table function which table function you have to give this table function name yeah so we have created this static method since we need the static method we have created see the error what is the error implementation is missing normal thing you can do control 1 add implementation for the get cells order so it will do the implementation for you but it is normal method still it is not the amdp function now we have to convert this normal method to the amdp function so for that why what we have to use by database processor of function function we have to use here because we are converting the table functions not the processor so for function for which database you want to convert for hana database you want to do and what language you are going to use i i will going to use 
SQL script language. And we can give the options we have to give here. Options read only because in the table function, we only the read the data, we will not change the data. And the using what data you want to use, what database table or functions you want to use, you, I want to use VBA K table as of now. I just want to get the cells order just to display purpose. It's, I want to create in this video very basic CDS table function. So I just want to get the VBA. VBA K using VBA K. It will what still I am getting the error. What is the error? AMDP method can't be impeding. Before implementing the this method, I just want to tell some few things. First thing, as soon as you will create this particular CDS table function and you activate this one that time as i told you it will create one database database function with empty database function already created in the database and once we will call this particular method either in sql statement of the in a program or in some other in fury uh, somewhere we are using their cds table function there we will call as soon as we will call this function first time that time that particular implementation will be done in the database till now till that point of time this table function will be blank in the uh, this table function what it will create create normal function in the da data mesh it will create sql script functions it will create with the blank as soon as i access first time this method that time it will be implemented this database function in the database so that's a very important so first time when we access this particular method that time it will be either we will use in the sql statement or we will directly do the data preview or we will do in we will call this particular cds function in some other technology or some theory or for the reporting purpose or any purpose okay so what i will do uh, i go to the data i have to return one more important thing since is a table function we have to return something so it is required we have to return something what i want to return i want to return these two things client and vbln so first i want to return this one so i have to get from somewhere so i have to sele write select uh, from where i want to select uh, what i want to select first i want to select mandate client field is a client this particular field names and this particular field name should match otherwise we will get the error okay and second field vbln we will see vbln anyway this is vbln as a vbln no need to give alias name from where we want to fetch you have to write from vb ak and here most important thing you can't use dot you have to use if you use dot you will get the error what it is telling close unexpectedly we have to use semicolon so that's very important thing now we don't have any error so let me activate this one control f3 it got activated so i want to see the data how the data is fetched from this particular method so just you have to do f9 uh, f8 sorry in this case if you do f8 You can see the data sales order number is coming as i told you the client field is only used for the implicit client handling since it is client dependent cds so client field will be not visible over here only the other field data will be available and as i told you already the client is mandatory over here not only like data preview you can call this particular cds entity in select using the select state as well or you can debug also if you want to debug this particular method how the data is coming so for debugging what i will do i will create one internal table just to show how to debug it underscore return i will it underscore vbak i will do uh one second it vbak and i will return so the, i'm getting the error what is the error These errors are very important there should be should some return statement return this particular Control C, Control V, semicolon. Oh, sorry. So to access the any variable database, uh, any variable which is locally declared, we have to use colon here. That's a very important. Like whenever we are sending the data, when whenever we are writing the select statement, we are using the host expression at the rate. 
the same way here we have to use in the database since we are doing the things so we have to use the colon so that's very both the things are in this case we got the data in ITVBAK and then we are returning I just want to show you the how the data look like in the uh, when we access the data from this table I just want to show you that that is the reason I use directly let me activate this one control F3 and uh, let me put here since I, I have to put the breakpoint over here it got activated control F3 let me check once more one more time let me put breakpoint simple debugging there is no much thing like you debug normal code you have to put breakpoint and you have to do effect it will uh, it will switch to the debugger perspective i think so it got switched and now you have to do f6 to uh, here you have to do f6 to go to the next statement instead of f5 so i did f6 so you can see if you want to see the data you double click on itvbak you can see the data so one more important i think i want to see if you see the data correctly if you come down you can see not only you are getting the data from the current client you are getting the data from the other client also 600 client and if you go come back you will see the you are get, get, getting the data from the 800 client as well so you have to make sure so this is the inefficient way of tackling the cds table functions we will discuss client handling my next video for as of now i just want to show you so even through even you want the data in the uh, from the 200 only the here data access in the internal table all the clients but finally when you will see in the output if you do f8 and if you see the output the data will be displayed only from the current client not from the other client how i know if you see let me switch to the ABAP perspective how i know if you see uh, number of entries over here uh, again the pros again this code triggered f8 you can see 1090 entries if i if you if i will go in vbak and see that how many entries are there 1090 entries are available in the 200 client so but still here when we see in the internal table it's more than 1090 entries that's a very important thing so how to handle this client scenario that we will see in our next video so in this video we have learned about the normal cds table function along with the what is amdp and what all are the types of amdp and how the amdp framework works that we have discussed in my next video we will enhance the cds table function we will add the parameter we will use the client and what is the impact of the client and what is what will happen when we use the client dependent and client independent cds table functions that we will discuss in our next video before going to next video please like this video subscribe this channel share these videos with others as well with that Thank you and happy learning.